Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we've got a Gallagher Solar Fence Energizer repair, and um, this is the uh, final uh, installation. I'm just uh, pointing out where these little connectors uh, are located, and this board on the front here, this control board, sort of slides in and uh, connects with a 10 pin connector onto the main PCB. And then there's a couple of uh, jumper alligator clips that connect here for uh, external power source and a little jumper to switch between 12 volt and 9 volt. And um, this thing uh, was insanely damaged. Uh, it had uh, a bunch of ants, liquid damage. Those two little pieces, uh, knob looking things, they actually were go out to the fence to charge the fence keep the cows in this is the front control module and um, this is what it looks like after we're all done and I'm gonna go through a few pictures here showing what it looked like before we did uh, cleaning for the ultrasonic uh, there's just a few uh, identifying marks uh, as well and there's a great big capacitor and as you can see the board is really damaged uh, badly um, wasn't sure we were going to be able to fix it uh, looks like an ant got fried there looking through the light shining through uh, the board here will give us a little bit of an indication here's the front control module board and there's the main PCB again. You can see a lot of the uh, masking has been completely peeled off. There's a little break in the uh, trace there. You can see the light shining through. Here's the other side of that same area. Another angle of that same area. There's the front control panel again. As you can see, lots of corrosion. There's a component there that's off and the pads are messed up. So we're going to start on the main PCB. Uh, we're gonna we're going to repair some of this trace damage um, this is um, that one uh, location um, it's got a three-leg transistor I think on there um, and the center leg is not making any contact so we need to correct that we're just going to run a simple jumper across that uh, broken trace and get that line reconnected then we're going to touch up some other areas as well so during this process um, you'll see me put some probes on although you're not gonna hear any uh, beeping or anything I'm just checking continuity and and at the end of the repair I checked to see if the unit was drawing current and that was about all I could do uh, from my bench to test it with and so we're gonna get a note from the uh, customer uh, once he's installed it at, back on the fence to let us know if it worked or not so we will show proof at the end of the video that we were successful believe it or not see as you can see this board is just about completely uh, destroyed in certain areas but um, we we did the best we could to repair any broken traces and um, reconnected uh, the one component on the main control module this is a very unusual repair um, in fact I don't think I've ever done one of these before this is the first one uh, I've never had anything like this uh, come across my bench, so I jumped at the chance to to give it a shot. So 
So here we're just connecting our main uh, jumper wire. Some pretty, some pretty heavy duty thick wire there because that's a large trace. We want uh, to make sure that plenty of, plenty of voltage current can flow through there. And uh, we're gonna do it on the on another spot over a little up towards the right uh, as well. But for some reason, I didn't get that that actually on video but it's essentially the same process as what I'm doing here Just probing around. Mainly want to make sure that we have good continuity through these traces. And then uh, we're going to touch up and clean up uh, any of these uh, solder joints here that are badly corroded and not making a good connection. So they're bad enough that we actually had to scrape off the corrosion with our razor knife. This is even after ultrasonic cleaning. And we're going to reflow these joints. So we got one more joint there on this line that we need to reflow. And we'll be done with that one. Now this first attempt at reflowing uh, failed because we didn't get nearly enough of that uh, crud off of there. So we're going to clean it off with some alcohol and we're going to scrape some more off. Now we're finally getting some cooperation out of the uh, solder on that joint and that looks about as good as it'll get. And all of the exposed ground plane, we're gonna, we're gonna put a coating, protective coating on all of this when we're through. Won't look pretty, but it'll sure protect it. Now this other section here uh, is a short section. Uh, and this is the one where somehow or another I probably did it thinking I was recording it and then looked up and realized that I had already done the repair and was not recording. So apologize, but it's basically the same procedure as the first one I showed. We're gonna clean up these two end uh, solder joints we're going to reflow them and we're going to connect that broken trace right in the middle there and you'll at least get to see what it looks like when I'm done okay there's what it looks like when we've finished that that one up. Those were the two worst uh, areas that we've um, 
concentrated on. This whole area here uh, has been fairly well uh, damaged and um, we've repaired all of the, the, the primary areas of where the traces were just pretty much completely destroyed. And uh, over here on the left, you can see the 10 pins uh, that get connected to the control board. And um, we probed around, made sure that uh, we had good continuity, but there was a couple here that had some corrosion. I just decided to go ahead and reflow those for good measure. Because these are gonna connect the, control, the main control board. The pins, uh, I don't know, they're, they're probably at least an inch tall, maybe more, a little more than an inch underneath there. So here's a quick shot of the main area we worked on. We're going to cover everything with a protective coating. Get all that ground plane covered back up. All the areas where we've worked, any exposed traces, all covered up. Like I say, it doesn't look pretty, but it does the job. This thing's going to be outdoors. It was heavily corroded. And we did an ultrasonic cleaning and scrubbed it really well. Did those uh, repairs on those joints and the traces. Now we're just going to cover everything up with this protective coating that should keep the moisture out. Now we're going to look at the main control board. Uh, the, the control board here has a, another messed up couple of pads missing there that I had to uh, fix. And so we've got some fresh solder on those uh, areas there that I just pointed at. And we're going to put that component back on and it should make a good connection afterwards. There's the component. It had come off of the... Uh, pads were torn off so I had to uh, you know expose a little bit of the traces on either side and then uh, reflow and there it is nice and happy back in its home and that board uh, is, is still still looks pretty bad but this is what the customer said the fence worked Thanks. So, thanks guys. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye now.